Hey, what's up guys? Tori here and I am so excited about this video. Is the Peloton really worth it? A lot of people wonder, I'm sitting here at a Peloton tank top. You probably think you already know the answer, but I just want to give you a little bit about my spin background and tell you how I decided for myself whether or not the Peloton bike was actually worth it. And I'm hoping that these points will also help you. So first of all, I just want to give you a little bit about my background. So I started doing spin about three years ago at Cycle Bar. I had done spin before at another studio, but I literally fell in love with Cycle Bar. The environment, the instructors, it was amazing and it still is. And if you want a separate video on Cycle Bar itself, leave me a comment, let me know. We can talk about that four hours. Cycle Bar is awesome. And that's where I first got a taste of spin. And I just absolutely love the energy in there. And I was riding faithfully for two years and then the pandemic hit. And within the first week of the shutdown here in the state of Michigan, I was like, I need a bike. I need a bike. I need to ride because I was riding five days a week at the studio and I missed it so badly just within the first couple of days when it closed. And so it was my mom actually who said, they need to rent a bike. They need to just rent you a bike. Just give you a bike. And I'm like, you're right, mom. <laughs> they do. They should rent a bike to me. So I wrote to the owner and to the manager of Cycle Bar and I was like, I need a bike. And within a week, they started renting out bikes. The rental fee was a little high and I knew that if I was going to sustain that, I was going to need to buy my own bike. Now, this was around, again, March 2020, and I was thinking that the pandemic was just going to be, you know, maybe three to six months. So my friends and I did some research and we went ahead and purchased the Sunny Fitness Pro 2. We didn't want to spend all the money on a Peloton bike at that time and then turn around and be right back at our studio. So we were doing a mix of virtual classes with Cycle Bar and also using the Peloton app. At that time, the Peloton um, app was three months free, and then after that, $12.99 a month. So um, the Fitness Pro 2 by Sunny, it worked well for me. I ended up um, passing that bike on to a family member who still rides it today, but some of my friends had issues with their bikes later on um, as they use them more. So I think it just depends, but I had a really good experience with my Sunny bike. But what was really missing for me was the data and the metrics. When you ride at Cycle Bar, you get a detailed report after every ride. You get to know how fast you were going, you know, how much weight you put on, how many calories burned, where you rank on the leaderboard. I mean, it's very interactive. And on my Fitness Pro 2, all I could see was my uh, speed and my miles, but I really couldn't see if I was improving. So for a while, I used my iPad, rode on my Sunny bike, um, did some virtual classes with um, Cycle Bar, and it was great, but I just felt like something was missing, right? So fast forward a few months, and that's when Peloton decided to announce that they were coming out with a new bike, the Bike Plus, and that the original bike was going down. So the original bike now is around $1,900, and the Bike Plus is $2,500. The annual or monthly membership fee for the bike is $39. So first I had to justify in my mind, was that $39 worth it? Because I was paying $13 and I felt like I had all of the features that someone with the bike had. But with $39, you can add up to seven people to your bike. So you have other family members, they can use the bike and you're getting a lot more by having the bike. So that's how I could justify the $39, but I still had to decide about that price tag. So I went into the local Peloton studio in Troy, shout out to Steve, my salesman, he's amazing. And uh, we looked at the bike plus and the features and I looked at the bike and I knew what I needed and I decided I wanted just the original bike at $1,900, the weights and the mat as well. Now, the other thing for me, of course, you know, with Peloton, you can finance the bike. So you can pay a monthly payment over five years along with your membership fee. And um, you can pay that and it's 
I don't know, I think you could pay under $100 a month. And so when you compare that to what you're paying at your studio, you can really justify it. But I didn't wanna pay a monthly fee for the bike and the membership fee because in my mind, I felt like I could just be at a studio if I was going to do that. I had done the math and going to Cycle Bar after two years, it would have paid for the bike. So I decided to buy the bike outright and only pay the monthly membership fee. And that has made it totally worth it to me. I love the bike. I love the metrics, the instructors, how interactive they are on and off the bike. They interact with you on social media. Uh, they're very responsive. Even if you don't get a shout out on the ride, they definitely try to show you love and build that sense of community. And I love riding with friends. So my friends and I, we ride on Zoom together because that was another reason I was kind of going back and forth about whether or not I wanted the bike, because I do like the sense of community that comes from riding in person, from being part of a group, that energy that you, it's really difficult to replicate when you're at home by yourself. So having that group on um, Zoom has made the Peloton bike totally worth it in my opinion. It's smooth, um, we can adjust it so that both myself and my husband can ride. I actually already had the SPD shoes from TM, so I did swap out my pedals. I do a dual pedal, so one side is SPD. When my husband wants to ride, the other side is slide in, and it's been great. I have absolutely no regrets. I'm coming up on 500 rides as of this video, and I've got my eye on that treadmill coming out in the spring. So is the Peloton really worth it? Well, here's some things to consider. How often are you going to ride? What are you looking to get out of your ride? Um, do you care about being part of something or is it just for you personally and you don't really care about community? So if you are gonna be riding regularly, if you really wanna know your data metrics, how you're improving, how you stack up against other people in your gender and age group, then the Peloton is for you. If you just wanna try out spin and see if you like it, just get a cheaper bike. If you just wanna try out spin and lose a little weight, you can get a cheaper bike. But if you wanna be part of something fun, you wanna see your progress, you really want the whole experience, then you should try the Peloton. <laughs> I am gonna put my referral link in the bio. You can get $100 off accessories if you decide to purchase the bike. Um, I would love to hear your experience either with the Peloton or with another bike. So please leave the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.